Hello and a welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is Computer Tycoon. And we've moved on a little bit, a few days since the end of the last episode, where I finally topped the, uh, the 40% of uh, the world's sales of computers. That was at the end of 1988, and we're now at the beginning of 1989. Um, a couple of things I've done in the meantime, so kind of off camera, just to um, just to, just some, some sort of housekeeping sort of thing, which, as, as you know, if you're familiar with the series that I, I do each year, is I just check my computer sales performance each model, and usually make a cut to their prices, just to keep interest and demand uh, rolling along until the next model comes along. And what I've decided to do here this time, and it's kind of following on from a comment that I think it was um, Danishi Marquez um, commented some episodes ago now about perhaps a better strategy than my the mine <laughs> would be rather than having a whole shop full of different types of computer models to sell, you just focus on one really good model and sell that in bucket loads. Um, my, my my reaction to that immediately, and I, I think I said this at the time, um, was that in a more in a sort of realistic model, each computer manufacturer would have several models running at the same time to appeal to different sectors of the market. So I was kind of playing realistically, if you will. But I, I a, a little while ago, a week or so ago, I, I sort of played this game on a little bit and tried out this idea of just having one or two models to sell and see if that worked. And would you believe it? It actually does work. So what I've done in the beginning of this episode is I've chopped down my computer range to just the cheapest home computer, the oldest one I still have on the, on the books, and the most recent home computer, and the same for... Uh, personal computers, so it's the oldest and cheapest and the latest and most expensive. And I've still put a little price cut in, in the mix as well, just to sort of keep things interesting. And what I've discovered, running things on for a few days, and you can see this here at the top uh, top right, is my demand, my DPP, is now way in excess, way in excess <laughs> of my actual productive capacity, my PP, my production power. Uh, at 280 and a half thousand um, PP, whatever the unit measure is. <laughs> so I'm getting myself on a sidetrack there and not quite know where I was going to end up. A little cul-de-sac of, uh, of commentary. Um, yeah, so what I need to do, I think, is increase my manufacturing capacity or increase these prices. Um, I'm going to go with keeping the prices down and selling more. Um, I think shifting things, up, shifting units is the key to that. Uh, so a couple of things coming up in this episode. We are about to hit, and um, we should hit this year quite easily. I've got 20 research points every day, so we will hit the 286. Whoa! First, I, for me, historically, the 286 was the first real computer. It's the first PC I ever had on a desk at work. Um, which gives you some idea of quite how old I am, I'm afraid. Um, so that was kind of really the first map. I think I may, I may be wrong here, to be honest. Uh, I'm not an expert in the history of the computer business, but the 286 really seemed to be where the market took off. It was affordable, it was powerful, and Windows was running in, on that as well. So everything was moving along quite fast. We're starting to move fast in, in that, in, from, from that stage on, I think, really. Not to forget the importance of the 8080 and the, uh, the Z80, was it, whatever, um, and the 68000, the Motorola chip. They all had their place in, in different markets. Anyway, so we've got that coming along. Um, it, we've got the uh, computers I've dealt with. So what I'm going to do, because uh, I want to increase my market as well, actually, is I need to increase my capacity in my factories. Um, and I'm going to do that by adding a level three factory to uh, to Laos. Unfortunately, a glitch in the game means it's called no translation. We know that. But to get a level three factory, I need to upgrade and build three recreation uh, levels. So if you see the factory, level two at the moment, to upgrade, which is the biggest in increase in production capacity, I need level three um, recreation buildings. So I've got to get those built first. 
so um, that's going to take a little bit of doing. I suppose I could increase my prices for the moment. Can I do that? While that building builds, as it were. Um, yeah, if we increase the price of our... Pr uh, uh, four nine. Increase that. And... The home computer. We'll make that to two hello. Okay, so that's that's brought um, demand down a little bit. <laughs> not, you don't have enough manufacturing. It's, it's like, I know that. I'm working on it. Oh dear, the pressure here, the time constraints. Right, let's move this game forward a bit. We we're just waiting for stuff to happen now. Your building upgrade has completed. Right. Okay, so the new building is in place. That's the first of the three recreation levels. So we need another one. Of course, the thing with these buildings is you need to keep their actual daily cost uh, beneath or, un or less than your actual daily profit, which is why I'm, I'm going for, for, the, for the factory level three. Um, it will cost me 25,000 per day with these, with, and then add in these discounts. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cheap, to be honest, um, to increase capacity by that amount, even with the requirement for the uh, the level three recreation. Come on, hustle, hustle. It can't take that long to build these buildings. It's a gym. It doesn't take long to build a gym, surely. I'm still making loads of money. Is it, come on, hurry up. I'm, I'm, Your I'm building it. upgrade has completed. Thank you, thank you. Right, uh, upgrade that to level three. That builds two, I think it's two different types of building, isn't it, for level three? How's our research coming along? Oh, we're so nearly there. Well, as they slowly emerge from the ground. Well, it's a different way of constructing buildings, I suppose. And unfortunately, you, don't, you can't move on this map of the site. You can go full view, of course. So there you see them coming out so they're burger joints and something I think you have researched a new technology <gasps> the 286 is here uh, right so that is that's, uh, just, I know it's I know it's a CPU <laughs> but, uh, there it is uh, just to make sure it is just a CPU so we need to build a new CPU Let's clear that. okay uh, what have we got? So that was the eighty. Don't have enough manufacturing yes, capacity. Oh, oh, stop! Stop! Pause the game for a moment while I, I do this and think. <laughs> Just can't have too many things going on at the same time. My mind gets um, confused. Um, right. So oh, we might as well create a new a new CPU, and it's going to be two eight six. Six micron, passive cooling, VLSI, and we're still way behind our competitors in this. Oh, what, what advantage have they got? This, this is I don't understand this. All right, so we'll take that to two, which gives us still still left eighty three percent behind our competitors. Oh, this is bad, bad. But they are. Uh, this is going to be. Um, we'll call this the UT286 Ultimate Tektron, which of course is the name of my company. Actually, that should be. Can we do lowercase here? We can do lowercase. No, that just looks silly, I'm afraid. UT, that's right. Okay, let's create that baby. And there he is. So we'll add him into a computer shortly. Um, Oh, I've got recreation level three. Excellent, so I can now build my factory upgrade. There it goes. Okay. So that will come through. In the meantime, let's create our new computer. And I will create a personal computer to start with. And it will have all this good stuff in it. We won't put UPS in there. 
Um, well, that's five features, but no, no, no well, we won't, we won't. I mean, who a, a UPS you buy separately, don't you? Don't you? Honestly, you do. Of course you do. Yes, of course you do. Right, so we've got that. The memory is going to be that one. Why do I double click that side? I know how the game works. I'm always clicking in the wrong place. Thank you. The CPU is this baby. Nice increase in performance. Removable media. This three inch scuzzy floppy diskette. And our latest video card. Power supply. We've only got the one so far on PCs. Winchester storage. The motherboard. And it's going to be, of course, um, this one doesn't, doesn't appear to be. <laughs> oh, it costs less, that's right. So the features and performance and quality and everything else is the same, but because it's now 6 micron as opposed to 10, or whatever it was before, the manufacturing cost has gone down, which is good for me, good for profit. Good for profit is the point. My display and the OS is command line. Okay, and this is going to be called Tetron PC 89 slash 1. I'm so good at naming these things. Save that design. Let's create the prototype. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. I bet it did. Right. I'm waiting for that to come through. Anything new on the marketing? Again, the typical thing with marketing is I can't afford to do... I don't have anything that matches these these feature sets or performance levels in my product line, so I can't sort of compete in the video games market. I can do billboards, but it doesn't seem to have that much of an effect, to be honest. Um, Your building upgrade has completed. Ooh, look at that. I've now got four over 400,000 production points, which means I can reduce the price on my computers again. Oh yeah. Let's make this 2299 again. And that one. No, that was the one I changed, wasn't it? And this one. Can go back down to 2100. There we go. Your new computer model is polished. Ooh. So, what's the feedback on this one? Tell me. Most prestigious. That's that's what I do. I make really prestigious. I think that means quality, doesn't it? Computers. So yeah, we can sell that. And what are we going to sell it for? Again, I think we'll go a little over the top of the recommended price. And we're selling them. Excellent. So while I have that sort of um, advantage in the marketplace, um, what I'll do, I think, um, the, tr the trouble is with having this sort of cut down catalogue of my oldest and newest computers is um, which one to get rid of. I mean, I should, should get rid of the ultimate, really, here, uh, my previous PC model, but I don't like doing that. Okay, it's time to build a new um, home computer, but before we do that, just check our research. We should have MIDI quite soon. That's another feature set and quality improvement, which is good. Right. Um, which makes me wonder if I can actually go into another country here at some point soon. We shall see. Okay, let's, let's build our, our next computer will be a home computer and it will have UPS it won't have the game pad controller joystick it will have a fax printer and the UPS I'm, I'm thinking I'm th the thing with the home computers I'm thinking office is, is how I'm marketing those models it makes sense to me <laughs> a memory um, we're going for our oldest memory because that's got the best performance even though it is quite costly to manufacture. The CPU, get away with us, new 286, and the SCSI, three and a half inch. Yeah, everything else will be the latest, and hopefully best. 
most most of them are. The only one is the the memory. That just an odd thing in the game, which, uh, as I keep telling you every episode. <laughs> now I'm sure you remember. And uh, yeah, the latest. Well, that cost has come down, hasn't it? Quite a lot for displays. Largely because if you're using the TV, you're not actually building a monitor as such itself. So it's obviously that much cheaper. Uh, okay, so this will be just the Tektron 89 slash 2. Because it doesn't have the PC um, prefix. Your new computer model went into the testing phase. Because it's a home computer. So that's that's the how I differentiate between them. Okay, I've got two logistics points in my bag, which means I can go into a couple of moderately sized countries, you know, like Mar Mauritania here, um, 9 million people, Algeria, well that's 17, that needs 2, Kazakhstan, hmm, yeah, Yemen, 2 million, Oman, 5, Saudi Arabia, now what I was thinking of doing was going into a country, I was looking at South Africa and Iran. I liked Iran because it would give me this sort of nice sort of um, stretch of countries, continuous stretch of countries there. What's Afghan like? Afghanistan like? Yeah, they like the red, which I think is performance. No, it's always features. What does Iran like? Am I, uh, am I clicking the right one? So that's Afghanistan. Oh, do they have the... Looks like Af Afghanistan and Iran have very similar profiles. No, they don't. Well, no, they are quite similar, but not very similar. Right, um, yeah, I was thinking of going into Iran, actually, because they get this nice continuous stretch of countries there. You have researched and a, nice a new big, technology. Nice big market. Well, let's do that. I've got plenty of money now. Um, I've got quite a bit of uh, capacity in my factories. Now, was that a new research? <laughs> yes, it was. So that's a new motherboard we need to, to put into place. Okay. And should we copy this one? Let's copy this one. And this is going to be with your new computer MIDI. model is polished. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's. Uh, we'll take out the six micron uh, indicator there because that's that's industry standard now. It's been going for at least a year. So that's it. Mobo MCA board, MCA bus rather. And MIDI. So let's create that. Okay, we'll come back and use you in due course. Upcoming next in my research tree is serial ports. Okay, we might get that before the end of the year. This would be good, wouldn't it? Anyway, as she said, our new computer is ready. Feedback. Again, prestigious. I like this. And it's recommending... Uh, again, can I sell it for 2.4? I mean, the only thing different really in this is the uh, accessories, different set of uh, add-ons. So you get, oh, you're, oh, you're selling very well. Very well indeed. It could overtake the PC. Not quite sure why. <laughs> the performance isn't as good, the features aren't as good, the prestige isn't as good, it's not as good, but it's more expensive. This is kind of strange, there must be something about um, the home computer, or there is some obviously hidden attribute perhaps, which impacts on the, the sales profile. Oh heck, I'm hitting my maximum capacity again in my factories, looks like I might need to expand again. Uh, let's do that, shall we? Let's go to our home base, actually. Mal Let's go to Malawi. We can increase factory level here. Now that will cost me just, it might just cost me just over 5,000 extra a day. I can easily afford that. And it will give me 
40 odd thousand extra capacity, something that's difficult to dirt charge. I, I can never work out numbers. My maths is quite shocking, really. Now, I do could do with some new logistics buildings, actually, as well. Um, now, they're all at level 2 at the moment, and to go to level 3, I need to increase my office level as well. Okay, well, we'll, we'll stay where we are for the moment um, without expanding any further in the world. Well, obviously, we can't without logistic, logistics points, but uh, that's, that's nice. Okay, making loads of money still. We're in November, coming up to the end of the year. This is all rather fine. Your building upgrade has completed. Yeah, so 448 is my capacity. So, yeah, so nearly 50 extra thousand production capacity. That's cool. I'm tempted to just sit here and wait it out. Let's have a look at our research, though. What else is new that we can add in? Co-processors. They were a big thing once upon a time, weren't they? 386. CD-ROM drive is a big one because it gives me performance. If you remember way back when, at the beginning of the series, um, the sort of advantage that my computer company had was performance over my competitors. But I've since lost that in the years since we started. It'd be nice to get some, some of that back. Hard disk drive. That could be good. That's a parallel, inter, par, parallel ATA. Whatever ATA stands for. Pla it's not quite how you spell plasma, I think, but I think we know what he means. Time sharing, graphical interface. <laughs> I wonder if they mean Windows. One of your computer models became outdated. Oh, has it? Has it? Now, is that one I'm actually selling still at the moment? No, it's not. No. It does that. Although I've archived those models so they don't appear in my current catalogue, it does still remind me when they hit five years old. Oh, in November. No oh, I can't I keep misreading this this date because it's American format, and I'm not used to that. And I can't change it to a a proper date format. So it's month. We're now in November. All right. Uh, what was I looking at? Research. PCI. Oh, a mouse. We don't. Yeah, a mouse. Really, we need that when we've got graphical interfaces. So we don't want that just yet. I think. Co-processors were a big thing, I do recall. Um, integration to audio. That's a good feature set boost. I, I really do seem to be sort of pushing features <laughs> these days as, as a big thing. Now the roadmap for the game, the, the developer, um, Andris, uh, under the, the company name Progorian, who created the game, um, has uh, has been working on a, a research tree, and he's given us some sort of graphical drafts of, of how it will look in the next update of the game. Hopefully, in the next update of the game. Anyway, coming soon, sometime. Um, so we should get a pass a better representation of which of these researched a new technology. Which of these technology feeds into which? Um, at the moment, I'm just making guesses as to what would be good for me. But I suppose you could do that in the when the game develops, whether it's a, a a good for you, for your company, in the way you've, you've you've developed it over the years playing, or whether you try and sort of follow the historical model, uh, which again is, is another aspect of the game, which makes it all that much more fun. PS2. Um, yeah, integrated audio. Let's do that. Okay, what was the last thing we developed? <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten already. Serial ports. So that's oh, another motherboard update. Right. Okay. Um, what we'll do, I will add that uh, to uh, this motherboard here. This motherboard here. Let's copy this. We'll add in serial ports. And 
We'll put Sir in there for cereal. MCA Bus's old hat. Everyone knows about that now. So that goes in there. And so actually, well, that's quite a nice improvement in my comparison to the comp competition. What difference does that make to? Yeah, it's another 30 odd production points needed to manufacture it. So let's create that. Okay. So we need to create, oh we're about to hit the end of the year, which is what we're just about to do. So it looks like we're going to have to wait till next year for the new computer to come on stream. Actually, you know what I'll do here, because I, well, <laughs> because as you know my, my video release schedule is a bit hit and miss, um, it is several days, uh, sometimes a, a week or a bit more between uh, recordings of each individual series, main series that is. Um, so I sometimes forget what the heck I've been doing or, or what I've planned. So rather than risk me failing to remember that I've got a funky new motherboard for my computers, uh, we'll I'll do that now. Uh, that, so again, we're just creating a sort of gamer machine. Uh, yeah, that's do fine, I think. And our bestest memory, our bestest CPU, the 286, we're still 3 inch diskette, still the video card sprite, the power supply hasn't changed in forever, nor has the hard disk, the motherboard though has. Ooh yes, nice increment in feature set and quality. My customers are going to love this. Display, thank you. Operating system, still command line interface. So what are we going to call this? Tektron PC. We're going to, have to call, we're going to call it 90 slash 1. It's not going to come out until the, the year 1990. So we'll save that and create the Your prototype. new computer model went into the testing phase. So we'll run on the game till the end of the year and then we'll have a look at the stats and see how well we've done. 1990. And I have hit 45.21% of global computer sales. That I'm very happy about. I like that a lot. <laughs> Excellent. Right, let's, let's look what, see what the graphs say. So in 1989, I made a thundering great profit. Look at that. And yeah, it's not the biggest profit I've made. But considering I spent 21 million on expanding into a new country, and it's costing me nearly, well, 95 million each year to run the company. Wow, I'm, that's that's not bad at all. Okay, so that's uh, money coming in, sales. Okay, the personal computer has overtaken the home computer, which is good, good. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too fussed to be honest. I mean, the PC obviously is the latest model, um, is the latest uh, design or, or template. Um, but uh, whichever sells, as long as I get something which sells by the bucket load, I'm happy. My customers. Oh, Iran. Um, as to be expected, I suppose, it was a pretty big country. Uh, closely followed by Pakistan, Venezuela, Sweden. Oh, yeah, that's all looking good. Most of my customers are still poor. Yeah, that's that seems to be the way it is, I'm afraid. I'm not quite sure why, but that's just the... the the nature of the way the game has split the countries. Okay, global sales. This is across everybody, isn't it? I've got Iran, Pakistan, Venezuela, Sweden. The first, the top four are all mine. Mozambique, Turkmenistan, Thailand, Myanmar. Oh, some other companies are selling into those. Okay, again, poor is by far the largest chunk of the global market space. I appear to have cornered that. That's nice. Market share. <laughs> hey! Oh, yes! Right. Okay, so I'm still slightly annoyed that Dator Systems are still steadily increasing their sales. But the increment this year 
is is compared to the increase in my sales is pitiful. Look at that. Who do these people? Who are these people? <laughs> what do they think they're trying to sell? Just give up now. Yep, so there's me. I'm not quite half of the whole pie yet, but I'm not far away, I reckon. And over time, oh yeah, yep, pretty much I'm I'm the big cheese. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've still not wiped them out. That I think is a is a difficulty in this in the challenge here. But if I'm making this amount of money, yeah, I think yeah, the next couple of years I think I need to expand significantly um, and build more factories expensive big factories and go to some big com countries and just wipe the floor with these poor saps preferences yeah uh, my market prefers ease of ease of use mostly a bit of a shame because that's not what I'm selling really I'm selling quality and prestige most of all but yeah, oh well, there you are. And Singularity, I have now reached the ripe old age of 35. And I've got a 0.22 recurring percent chance of uh, kicking that bucket of computers that I'm selling, whichever's in it, whatever's in it, um, in the next year. Yeah, I think I'm reasonably safe. No, I don't think I need a bodyguard yet or healthcare. Right, so I'll leave this on this graph again because I like it a lot. And that uh, wraps this episode up. Another very successful year for the Ultimate Tektron Computer Company. And I thank you for joining me for this, uh, this rush of new technology and uh, into new countries and new perspectives, new horizons of computer sales. So yes, thank you for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, just click that like button be ever so much appreciated uh, but even better if you've got any thoughts suggestions recommendations even criticisms if you think my strategy is a little bit wonky or could be improved just drop a note in the comments box below that would be awesome to hear from you and of course if you've not done so already why not subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other let's play videos series that was the word I was looking for but anyway, thank you again for joining me today. I've been Ajax Post, this has been Computer Tycoon, and I'll see you again soon. But until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>